before we get started, make sure you check out my comic, Mikey's Days Off, on my website, Mikey's Comics. Where I'm going to be posting that series, and then there's another series called King's Quest coming out next year. Thank you so much, and let's get started. Okay, so Velma got a 7% average audience score on Rotten Tomatoes, and it got like a critical score of 55%. So people don't like it. Um, apparently, there's issues regarding how the characters are acting, how they look, how they're portrayed, basically. And people are just turned off by it. And this is what I think the issue is. <laughs> this is what the issue is really, really at the heart of it. Um, companies don't think that newer IPs can sell. So in order for people to like new stories, they have to use older IP to sell their to sell their products. And this is what Mindy Kaling, I believe she even admitted that no one likes new new characters. So she liked Velma, so she decided to make her her own Velma. And this is the thing that's been happening in comics. This is why I rarely read American comic books cuz I don't like the fact that like you're reading one freaking arc of a story and then next arc, it's a new writer. And then they, the character never retires. Like my favorite superhero is Spider-Man, but I don't like how the way they're writing him. So I stopped reading. And then I actually stopped reading around the time, like 2017. And then I realized, wait a minute, this is only going to happen again. So why am I going to go, why am I going to jump back into reading his stories again? So I just collect mostly back issues, or actually I just can collect volumes or, or story arcs that I like, and then that's my collection of Spider-Man. And I think we need to do this with new content so we can just, we can just actually have new characters. That's what I care about. Like this, everyone's saying that it's kind of woke, it's all this, and it is woke, it is what it is, it is what it is woke, but that's not the issue. It's just that they're afraid to release new content, new IPs, so they keep using old ones and changing their stories. And I don't like it. It happened, it actually happened a lot this year, or last year. It happened a lot, uh, at least with, with content, how the way the writing seemed off. And it's because, like She-Hawk is a, is a good example. The writers, they really wanted to write their own thing, but they put it, they put in what they really wanted to write into an old character. So there's kind of like a, the audience is confused. Like the true audience that loves the character is confused. And the new people that you were marketing to, they don't like comics or they don't like cartoons. So the entire ecosystem of, of, con of content consumers, <laughs> they're all confused. So this is what the problem is with Hollywood. Um, and this, this is why I mostly read manga <laughs> because it's, it's a, it's not a, it's an American thing. I think it's happening in UK too, but this is an American issue. And I think it's going to take some time for us to get some new characters, which kind of sucks because I love comic books, but the only way you can actually find new characters is to read indie comics, which I do read. I do read indie web comics and I try to support indie uh, creators as much as I can, because that's where you're going to get the new content. It's not going to be like mainstream. It's going to be like underground crap. Uh, also, check out this comic. It's called Awesome Man. Uh, dude, it's an amazing comic. I'm actually going to put it on the screen. Awesome Man is one of the craziest like series I've ever read. And it's just made by like one dude. I don't know if he even gets like someone for the, um, for the uh, cover art. But check it out. I'm going to put a link in my description. But check out Awesome Man. And I might recommend other indie comics while I do YouTube. Because, you know, why not? Why not help out other creators such as myself? Um, but that's it. That's all I have on this Velma issue. And my final thoughts is, yeah, it looks like it sucks. And also, I didn't watch it. I'm also, if you, if you don't like something, don't watch it. Don't hate watch. Just look at the advertising. And if, it doesn't, if you don't like it, don't watch it. Because that's what advertising is supposed to do. Advertisement is supposed to get your attention and say, hey, do you want to watch? And if you don't want to, you don't have to. Um, and that's my two cents. All right. Thank you for uh, watching my video. And I should be making a new video every week. All right. Hasta luego. Bye.